Hi everyone, I hope you've all been having an amazing day. Today you're going to be learning hacks to make cream blush last longer. There are two cream blush brands that I absolutely love and let me share them with you. So the first one is obviously Rare Beauty. This is in the shade Nearly Berry and it's the, the perfect autumn type blush. I absolutely love it. This is what it looks like. It's this really beautiful deep purple reddish blush. I find that it's literally stunning to use in the fall. This was like my favorite blush to use. The second one is by Jouer Cosmetics. I absolutely love this brand, but especially their blushes. I use these every single day. Their cream blushes are unique because it actually comes with a cheek tint, but it also comes with a lip tint. Both of these blushes are amazing, last long, and have an amazing shade range to choose from. With that being said, now that I've shared my favorite cream blushes, I'm going to be getting into the tutorial. I already have my base concealer and bronzer on. It's important to remember with cream blush that a little goes a long way, so make sure you apply minimally if you haven't used it already. You might be surprised with the amount of pigment that you get from it. So what I'm, I'm going to be using the Jouer Cosmetics Blush and Bloom Stick, and this is in the shade Celebrate Me. All you want to do is you just want to apply like a little dot. That's all you really need, and I'm going to apply a little bit on this side too. The tool that you use to blend it is actually very important. So if you use a damp beauty blender, you're gonna find that it sort of soaks up the blush and you're not gonna get really good results. It's important to use a blush brush because this isn't gonna soak it in, it'll evenly distribute it and you won't have to like keep applying more to make it look good. What I like to do is I kind of just like pinch the, the brush. I kind of go like that. You see how it kind of like fans out and what I do is I just swipe it up like so and then you can kind of just keep patting it. I find that dragging it gets rid of the pigment and it kind of just like picks it up and it goes away so I find that patting it definitely preserves the pigment and then boom it's blended out just like that. It blends out super easily and just continue to Pat it until it's completely blended out. For this side, I'm going to apply it a little bit differently. So if you find that you have dry skin and your makeup gets very dry and patchy by the time you're on blush, use some setting mist. So I absolutely love this Dewy Coconut Setting Mist by e.l.f. All you want to do is you just want to close your eyes and spray like one to two sprays. There we go. Now as you can see, my skin is kind of damp, and this will allow the cream blush to blend way easier. Now that it's damp, I'm just going to start blending it in. So again, you kind of just want to pat it. You can see, look, that blended a lot quicker compared to this side. And you can see it's also looking a little bit more vibrant. I don't know if you can tell, but this side is a little bit more paler compared to this side. So just continue to pat it onto your skin until you're happy with how it looks. So this is what it looks like. It literally took me a few seconds. As you can see on this side, it kind of already faded away and that's common with cream makeup products. So it's always important to lock it in with a powdered product after. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a little bit more of this just to kind of get more pigment. And I'm just going to, again, go in that padding motion. As you can see, it's all blended out now. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a blush shade kind of similar to the cream blush that you used. If you don't have that, that's okay. Just use any powder blush that you have. I'm gonna be using the Physician's Formula Powdered Blush, and this is in the shade Blushing Rose. It's my favorite shade. It's so pretty. And you're gonna use that same brush that you used. All you're gonna do is you're just gonna get a little bit, and you're gonna kind of just go over it and pat it over that cream blush, and this kind of locks it in and will allow it to last longer. And this is like, I found, this shade is actually kind of like a complete dupe for the shade on the cream blush stick, which is pretty cool. And always make sure to look in like natural lighting too when you're doing this. Don't be in like fake lighting because it's gonna look very weird. <laughs> Continue to kind of just like pat it until you're happy with how it looks. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, my skin just looks like there's a little flush of color and it's perfect for those days where you don't really wanna look like you're wearing any makeup. I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup and I'll show you the last hack too that will allow it to last longer. I'll be right back. Hi everyone, I'm back. So now I'm gonna show you the last step to locking in that cream blush. What you wanna do is you wanna get a fluffy powder brush. So this is the one that I am using today. It's by Do Care and it is brush number six. Okay, I'm just putting the hair back behind my ears because I don't want any of the setting powder to get in my hair. 
what you want to do is you want to grab a loose powder. So I'm just going to be using the ELF H3 powder today, and it is translucent, so it's kind of just going to go on clear, but brighten my skin a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut... Whoa, that was a lot. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to swoop... Okay, what I'm going to do, since there's so much, I'm just going to kind of like pat the excess off onto the lid and kind of go like that a few times. That's so much. Okay. Okay, now that we've kind of got swoop it like that okay so now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna lightly pat it over the blush and since it's translucent it's really not gonna like affect the color of the blush it's just gonna mattify a little bit as you can see compared to this side and it's just gonna lock it in and blur your skin I absolutely love this Elf HD powder I have a blog post review on it too I'll link it below and you can kind of do like a little bit on your nose anywhere you can apply this really like anywhere you kind of want to just blur and get rid of shine you can do a little bit on your forehead or your chin if you find that that gets oily too this kind of just sets in the makeup locking it in preparing it for the day or night Boom. that is the finished result it's super easy to use cream blush and i absolutely love it definitely check out those brands that i mentioned i have a blog post all about this too and on there i have a few more hacks tips and tricks i'll link it below though if you want to read that Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe for more content like this. Have a great day. Bye.